La la yeah. la la wait till I give my money. Hey Couture Bays, it's your girl Brew Brag on live with the Retalk. And baby, we gotta talk about Miss Jaguar Wright coming for common. Oh my goodness, y'all, it's messy. Now, before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Her almost two-minute IG Live press conference will be on all my other social media apps, you know, because we like getting our coins and we like our advertisers. It will not be played here, but I'll sum it up for you. She stated that Common was giving her a Me Too moment. I'll let y'all sit on that. Yes, this fine common, this specimen right here, uh, it's always the fine ones. Now, some of you are like, well, why do you believe her? Because she's been very vocal about the things going on in Hollywood and in the music industry. She has not, you know, shied away from her disdain with several people, including Erica Badu. For those that know on Mama's Gun, Erica wrote a nasty, nice song about her. And nobody even knew. They thought it was about Andre 3000. Psych. It was about your girl right here. Now, Miss Jaguar has vocals. She has pipes. Like, the girl's first album was everything. But she said she wasn't getting paid. You know, she ran into that issue like many other artists do. They don't read those contracts because they're friends with these people. They don't look at it and then they get shitted out of their deal. Um, since her son has passed away and her being in prison, her outlook on life has been extremely different. Homegirl is very tapped into her spirituality and she calls a lot of things out. So she's deemed crazy. But last time I remember, Common wrote in his book about being a survivor of Me Too. Um, he stated that a person named Brandon, that was just an alias name, touched him when he was around 9 or 10 at a family retreat on a vacation and he couldn't believe it and he carried that pain and that turmoil. That could be why he has all these multiple relationships with all these successful driven women and he has not settled down yet i feel he has a disdain towards women i truly believe he likes women but he doesn't like them like that like he likes them to sleep with and that's about it he uses them as objects because he feels he was used you know that's the psychology of being a victim sometimes i will say this her IG press conference was very juicy. She deleted it. Thank God I saved the clip that I had because I said, baby, she is spilling the tea. Homegirl was speaking on the roots and how Malik B was cheated out of his money and some more stuff. All I will say is this, I'm willing to buy the book if she ever writes one. Have y'all heard about it? Have you caught the tea? What are your thoughts? Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye hoes.